Today, in our Ask a Scientist segment, we'll be hearing from Dr. Lexi Supies answering questions about her research on gender discrimination. Your research indicated that women living in countries with more gender discrimination are more likely to deny it. How can we encourage these women to open up with their experiences and challenge gender discrimination instead? I think it's great that you're asking, how do we encourage women to not deny gender discrimination? Because really that gets at the crux of the problem. One thing to point out that's important when we think of denial of gender discrimination is that it's not just women who deny, um, it's also men. So, um, and But men and women might deny for different reasons. So for example, women, um, we know from other research that there's a type of punishment that happens to women when they point out um, gender discrimination, if they point out um, inequality, if they point out sexual harassment, um, people in, tend not to like that, right? So they either don't like that women do that, maybe they, they don't take their claim seriously, or they don't want to be associated with it, I'm not the kind of woman that complains, um, or they might even face retaliation at work, um, in their professional lives. Um, so the first thing we have to do is we have to create safe spaces where women can voice their concerns, where they're allowed to speak about um, these problems without this kind of retribution or punishment. Um, but the other thing is we have to bring male allies in as well, but also create that safe space for women um, and really continue to talk about it, to, to allow people to, to verbalize kind of what they've experienced um, so that we don't suffer from what's called pluralistic ignorance, right? So, you know, you might feel like, you know, you're seeing this thing that nobody else is seeing, but actually everyone is really aware of it. So we just need to raise awareness, provide those safe spaces and encourage allies. How exactly did you go about selecting the countries and sample population for survey? Really what we were most interested in is finding countries that um, really were on a spectrum um, that had a lot of um, differences in gender equality. So we wanted countries like Sweden, um, where they have really good gender equality, better than anywhere in the world. And we wanted the more gender unequal countries like Russia. We really wanted to be able to ask deeper questions like how do cultural values affect these um, uh, phenomenon. And so we really wanted um, countries from all over the world. And so we actually, we did make sure we had every continent was represented because we had um, uh, subjects from Africa, from South America, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia. To find out more about Dr. Supi's research on gender discrimination, check out the article adapted by Science Journal for Kids titled, Why Do Some Women Deny Gender Discrimination?